Welcome back to another Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time I'm gonna do some basic stuff so you maybe have seen that in other tutorials before but not in detail so you understand what's actually going on here. And what do I mean by that? Well, how you can actually draw a line from let's say this torrent over here which has a specific image angle, it's just showing above it and then drawing this line. So how can the first point, how to get it, it's pretty easy, it's X and Y, bam, and we should be finished. But how actually do you get the other point? So for example, if it's rotating and trying to what, get to the player, then it will be shooting. And then for that line, you can use it for multiple purposes. First of all, just to see if, if the player is in shooting range. And if, for example, if there is a collision and then you can actually shoot those bullets. For example, as you can see now, bam, it's not shooting, but if I am well, having this collision, bam, 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 it shoots. So how you can get that point, you already know. How you can get the rest? Well, stay tuned. So the magic uh, is basically very, very easy. You need two points to draw a line. So I have in my draw event, which is... Uh, Never mind, I have my draw line here, and then I have a start point which is X and Y of the torrent which you just saw, which was rotating. But then I need a second point, and that we get with that specific well, length DX and Y. But to understand what's actually going on, I'll just give you a little illustration. So basically, you're having your um, torrent here, and bam, it draws a line. And for now, it has an image angle of zero because this is how it starts so this is zero bam but for example if you would what well, rotate it and then <laughs> yeah that was not very smart let's do another layer um for example if you have it like this then the image angle is 90 and for example if you do it like this 180 and then 270 but for example what if you want to do something like this so what kind of angle is that and how can you get, well, one point, which is here, and the other point, let's say here or here, it doesn't really matter, but on the line, so you can actually draw the line. So this is going to be quite easy, because what we are having is our start point and our, well, angle which we are having here. So how can we get the rest? Well, this point with a really nice function which is just called length the x and length the y so basically we're just taking our start point and then from our start point from the x we add length the x with a specific length i don't know 1000 200 whatever you like but this is just so the draw the line can be drawn and then we take the image angle of the sprite itself and we are pretty much set so this is how we get the x coordinate and similar to this length the y we get the y coordinate and this is how you form a line and for example it's not just good for forming a line you can i don't know use it for a collision and then for example if you have a collision same code x y x plus length the blah 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 same stuff with a specific object bam you can make a collision but this is not part of the tutorial this is just so you understand how you get those two points and why length the x and length the y are very very helpful for you to draw a line and do some debugging or some testing and how you get some specific points in space so hopefully that was of interest to you have a good one one up indeed